Hey guys, the objective of this video is to consider more complex loading cases and to determine internal forces from both ends of the beam. So the problem we have is we've been asked to find the internal forces at mid-span. So what we have here is we have a simply supported beam. So we have one end that is supported at a pin joint and one end that is supported at a roller support. And we have this loading case. So we've got a five kilonewton per meter uniformly distributed load that acts over this four meters of the span. And we have this 10 kilonewton load that acts three meters from the right support and um, five meters from the left support. So our first step as always is going to be to draw our free body diagram and determine our support reactions. So the way we do that is we draw in the forces that we know. So we've got, we draw in these forces here. So our 10 kilonewton point load and our five kilonewton per meter UDL. And we draw in our measurements as well as our support reactions. So the first support was a pin joint. So we have a reaction in the X direction and a reaction in the Y direction. And the second support was a roller joint. So we will only have a reaction in the Y direction. So there are three unknowns. We have AX, AY, and BY. So now we have to apply our equilibrium equations to solve for these three unknowns. So we start off with this, um, with the force in the X direction. So we take some of the force in the X direction with left being positive, let that equal to zero. And since we only have one force in the X direction, this AX 